If you have already bought a 7th generation Intel Core processor, aka KB Lake, you might be able to make a hot pot at home. That's because it's much harder than the last generation we called Skylake. But to be honest, most builders don't really have enough budget for these high-end water cooling system. So I'm wondering, is there any way we can cool our KB Lake down without using a high-end expensive cooling system? Actually, there are two ways. Go hard or go easy. The tough way is to be a scale breaker. I mean, delete your CPU and replace the stock thermal compound with a better one. In this case, we use some liquid metals. This is actually an old way to cool your Intel CPU down since Intel started to use normal thermal compound between IHS and DAI instead of solder. Oh, thank you, Intel. But to be clear, this can be a risk if you don't do it properly. And although the material is quite cheap, it will cost you a couple bucks and a few days of delivery. So, is there any free and immediate way to cool your KB Lake down? The answer is yes, and that is what I call an easy way. What we are using is a normal air cooler with 4 heat pipes. First, I'm gonna overclock this 7700K to 5GHz so I can show you how hot it is even after using liquid metal between IHS and DAI. Now the core voltage is 1.32. After running Prime95 for a while, the temperature grows to nearly 80 degrees centigrade. Can you imagine how hot it could be if I didn't delete the CPU? So now let's try some easy stuff. Okay, let's step into BIOS and find this PLL voltage. This might be in OC menu or voltage menu or whatever, you might take some time to find it. If you have overclocked the old socket 775 CPUs, you might know that adding PLL voltage could be helpful when overclocking basic clock frequency. But remember, this is KB Lake, and we are only changing multiplier for overclocking. We don't need to push PLL voltage in order to stabilize our basic clock frequency. So we can even pull it down to maybe 1.15. The default setting is 1.2 volt. Let's see if 1.15 works. Splendid! You see that? Straight down to 64 degrees centigrade. That is what I'm talking about. Now maybe you're wondering if pulling down PLL voltage could be helpful for CPU cooling. Why should I not decrease it more? Well, you can decrease it more, but a low PLL voltage may cause unstable results. For 7700K, I guess you might want to stay above 1.15. If you really want to push it harder, remember to run Prime95 stress test to ensure stability. Well, that is what this video is all about. If you like it, push the like button, and if you dislike it, I don't know, maybe you should watch it again, you will like it. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and see you next time.